Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world, guys. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu. Yes, you might recognize me and my family from three years ago when we went all into Bitcoin. We sold our house, we sold our companies, we sold our 70 pairs of shoes, we sold literally everything we owned, went all into Bitcoin and started traveling the world. Now, three years later, still traveling the world. Today, coming to you guys from Venlo, from my hometown, where we visited family and friends for the last two weeks tomorrow leaving to Spain in today's short video I'm going to share some really cool Bitcoin charts that are going to show you where we are going now and why you not need to freak out because of this red candle but need to zoom out and understand what is going to happen to Bitcoin also talking about the Twitter hack because they just arrested a 17 year old kid that was responsible for hacking Twitter and guys, I'm going to share a small secret with you guys because our lives could look a little bit different the next couple of months and I will tell you why in this video. So make sure to watch the complete video because at the end of the video I will comment below the video and ask you a question about the video. If you are the first one to correctly answer the question, you will win a free t-shirt. Good luck and enjoy the video. This beautiful Sunday here in Venlo City, the last day of the three weeks we spent in the Netherlands, because tomorrow we are going to Spain. I'm going to make a very short video this Sunday, because these last two days we are going to film some stuff with Dutch television. I can't say yet what we are going to film and with what Dutch television program we are going to film, but you will soon know as all this adventure will progress a little bit more. You probably woke up this beautiful Sunday morning, took your iPhone, looked at the charts, and you saw this huge big candle, red candle, bam, all the way back to 10,500 US dollar in Bitcoin. Yes, always remember, don't freak out, but zoom out. Because if you zoom out into the chart and you look to the weekly chart, you realize the candle is still green in the weekly chart. And we need to close the weekly chart today. If we will be able to close this weekly chart around 11,500 US dollar, it will again be a huge moment of a closing candle because we close the monthly chart around 11,350 US dollar. If we will now be able to close the weekly chart around 11,500 US dollar, it's again a huge indicator. We are going to see this massive bull run into 100,000 US dollar Bitcoin. Exactly what the designer of the stock to flow chart plan B is expecting. He is expecting, the stock to flow chart is expecting a 100,000 US dollar Bitcoin price and we are right on schedule if we are able to close around 11,500 today. If you want to have some fun then zoom a little bit more out because I tweeted yesterday this chart where you can see the whole Bitcoin history from like 2009 till today and there are like two small red areas. This chart. Bam! On this chart, guys, you can see that if you bought Bitcoins around these red areas, these areas would be the only areas you could have bought Bitcoin and be in loss now at the same time. If you bought Bitcoin in all these other areas than these red areas, you are in profit. This is why I tweeted yesterday, probably all those people that are in profit were just lucky. Man, if you look at this chart, you can see it is not luck. You were very unlucky if you bought Bitcoin in these red areas because these are the only areas you would now be in loss. And I don't think it will take a very long time that even the people who bought in these red areas, guys, will be soon in profit as well. Don't worry about a thing. Everything is going to be all right. To be clear, these red areas are about two months in total from the 4,230 days of Bitcoin's existence. So it's a very small chance you bought Bitcoin at these places. And that is why I mentioned yesterday as well and many videos before that about 95% of the Bitcoin holders are in profit when the price of Bitcoin is around 11,500 US dollar. 
Another reason to not freak out but zoom out is this chart. Bam! This is a three day chart. On this three day chart, you can see that the three day candle closed above the Bollinger Band. The last time, guys, we closed the three day candle above this Bollinger Band, we went from 5K to 15K. So this is also an indicator that we're still doing okay with Bitcoin. Yes, it was a very surprising, strange red candle all the way back to 10,500 last night. But guys, I don't think it is influencing the price too much because we are again hovering around 11,300 and probably going to close around 11,500 in like 15 or 14 hours from now. And closing the weekly candle again in this area is very bullish and positive. And to make it a little bit more bullish, I have this chart. Bam! This chart is Lisa's chart. You can see it in the colors because Lisa makes these colorful charts. This card is saying we could be now in the fifth wave. If you count the wave, the yellow line, you can see one, two, three, four. And now we need to go into the fifth wave. The fifth wave would take it all the way up to 12,300 US dollar around that area. So if it is up to Elliott from the Elliott waves, then also Bitcoin could be positioning now this huge drop now, this correction we saw could be the fourth wave, taking it all the way down to 10,500. And then the fifth wave, it will take it up again to 12,300, which will be exactly the target I talked about many times because of the Fibonacci retracements levels we saw before. And then maybe we can start to move in this new range from 11,000 to 12,500 for some days. So if we go sideways in this area again, then these alts can pop up again because a lot of alts have been falling down when Bitcoin fell down, of course. So when Bitcoin goes up now and then sideways, these alts will come up again. So it will be an amazing time again to invest in these beautiful alts to take some profit to buy some more Bitcoin. One more small news guys, the Twitter hack I talked about before, now they discovered that Twitter was hacked by a 17 year old guy from California, I think it was Tampa, I think Tampa is California, if it's not just correct me, I don't know all the American states, but I think he was from America, a 17 year old guy together with another guy from America and I think a guy from the UK. His name is Graham Clark, he's 17 years old, he hacked Twitter, he tweeted all these tweets that if you send bitcoins that he, Obama would double the Bitcoin or you know all these famous people sending out tweets if you send me Bitcoins I will double up what you send me so this 17 year old kid did it very smart move I think I don't think he's an ordinary 17 year old kid because if you're able to hack Twitter in this large scale I think you have some talents so yes probably he will be punished but I think he also has a bright future as maybe a social hacker or how do you call this these kids that hack companies to test if they are bulletproof the way they found out who the hacker was guys is what i already said in my last video they found out because he transferred his bitcoins to a binance account where he did kyc so it was not that difficult to find him so he was not this very professional hacker when it comes to privacy but okay you need to start something and if your start in the hacking career is hacking twitter that's not a bad start <laughs> i think he will be a very professional hacker if he will be allowed in the future to even touch a computer because mostly these hackers get punished that he cannot touch a computer anymore for a couple of years or something like this so let's see how this story will evolve and um, what kind of punishment these guys will get for all these felonies they have committed by hacking twitter This was all the news for today. Like I said, I will keep it short. Uh, to do a small recap, yes, never freak out, always zoom out. If you see these red candles on the daily chart, on the four hour chart, or in the minute chart, zoom out to the weekly chart or to the monthly chart, and you feel very zen again. And you can enjoy your beautiful Sunday without stressing about the chart. Because like I always end my videos, guys, you need to zoom out in crypto. You need to zoom in at life. You need to enjoy every single minute of the day because that is exactly what makes life worth living. I don't know if I'm able to create a video tomorrow morning because tomorrow morning we are flying to Spain very early. That will take a two, three hours to get in Spain and we will be picked up by our parents-in-law and that will be the first day with the parents-in-law. Yes, I will film the whole trip. I will film everything but I don't know if I'm able to edit the video so it is out tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon 
maybe I will skip a day for Monday because as I said today and also tomorrow morning we are filming with Dutch television and um, it's so sad that I cannot tell you what but you keep following our channel and you will see what is going to happen to our family if it comes to Dutch television. I want to leave it at this. I want to thank you for watching the video. If you did like this short video, please give the video a thumbs up, share it with your community, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment because I love to respond to your comments. I wish you an amazing Sunday and I hope to see you tomorrow or the day after again. Have a beautiful day guys. Bye.